When we've zoomed out, we can start to see the curvature of the Earth. Interesting. Now our experimenter, who is sort of gigantic in comparison to the Earth now, when she drops her apple, same as before, it goes straight to the center of the Earth. But now when she throws the apple, it goes all the way over here. Before when we were zoomed in and we're looking at a flat Earth, the apple would have stopped right here. But it keeps going a little extra distance due to the curvature of the Earth. Let's zoom out one more time. Here's her experimenter once again, and here's the center of the Earth. So now she's really quite a giant. Of course, if she drops the apple, it goes straight towards the center. If she throws the apple, well, it all depends on what speed she throws it at. If she doesn't throw it too fast, it'll follow some curved trajectory and strike the Earth. If she throws it really, really fast, it'll leave the Earth and be gone before the Earth has a chance to pull it back. Now, somewhere in between these extremes, if she throws it at just the right speed, the ball will travel a certain distance and, of course, fall a little bit towards the center of the Earth. It will travel another certain distance and, of course, fall again and keep up this process of traveling and falling and traveling and falling in just such a way that the path it takes is a circular orbit around the Earth. And that's all due to an attractive force that wanted to pull the apple towards the center of the Earth.